Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D cube in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper to using rectangle tool, using ruler, using free transformation command, distort, and creating shadows with the use of the brush tool. So let's get started! So to create a 3D cube, the first step we're going to do here is we're going to make use of the rectangle tool. So to do that, going on to the toolbar, you can find a rectangle tool under this like mouse cursor under that tool right click on that and then you're going to find there the rectangle tool there you are and then for the options on top i'm going to change the colors to green okay and then let's apply it on our canvas so i'm just going to click and drag to create a square all right then hit enter now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to use ruler for us to create perfect shapes okay to bring out the ruler going on to the menu bar go to view and then choose on rulers and you can just press ctrl plus r for the shortcut key all right so once the ruler is out now let's just click and drag to create a ruler line here in the middle there you are all right let's create another line on this side okay something like that And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. So going back, so going on to the layers panel from that rectangle that we just created, right click on it, and then we're going to rasterize the layer. All right, so that's no longer a smart object. And then the next up here is we're going with that rectangle layer selected. Okay, press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command right click on it and then choose on distort okay and then let's fix this one all right make sure that we're following the line of the ruler okay something like that all right make sure there's still a line on the line okay uh, there are that looks better now after that we can now hit enter okay now the next step here is we're going to, to create a duplicate layer of this square for us to create the side on this area. Okay, so to do that, just press Ctrl plus J. Okay, now let's rename this layer as the square right. Okay, and the other one, let's name that one as the square left. There you are. Okay, and then from that square right layer selected, now press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command. Okay, we can just drag it here. All right, that's a duplicate copy. Right click on it and then choose on flip horizontal. There you are. Okay, and then let's move the position of this to here. All right, and this part, I'm going to press control, hold it, and then click and drag this one, making sure that is aligned to the ruler line. There you are. Okay, now that looks perfect. Now hit enter. Now the next step here is we're going to create the top part. Okay, so again, let's go to the rectangle tool, or you can just press U for the shortcut key, and let's create a square right on the canvas. There you are. Let's name this layer as the top. Okay, and then right click on it, and then choose rasterize layer. Press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command. Right click, and then choose distort. Now let's align each side of this square. So from here. Corner over here to here. All right. Now, once you're good with it, now hit enter. Now, actually, it's already a cube, but this time to make it 3D, we have to apply the shadows. Okay. So, first, from this side, I want to create a shadow effect on this side. So, to do that, going on to the square left layer, double uh, click on that, go to the toolbar, go to the paint bucket tool choose the symbol click that go to the foreground color let's get a sample from the color of this side and then from the color picker let's click and drag to get a darker color of it okay yeah something like that and then hit okay and then make sure that the square left layer is selected and then let's paint on this side there you are okay that's okay now from the top layer select that Hold Control and click on the thumbnail of it. All right, because this time I'm going to go to the bucket tool and change the foreground color into a lighter 
green this time and then hit OK, then apply it. All right, there are. OK, now press Control plus D to deselect. Now let's create now a shadow. Let's create a new layer going on here at the left bottom corner of your screen. Select on this, create a new layer icon. Now let's name this layer as the shadow. And I'm going to bring the shadow layer on top of the background layer or under the square left layer. There are. Then with that shadow layer selected, go to the menu bar. Let's get the polygonal lasso tool. So that, that's the third tool. First, second, third, right click on the third tool and then find the polygonal lasso tool. Now let's create a line where do we think the shadow is. There are. All right. So I, I just created a selection like that. And then let's get the brush tool or B for the shortcut key. For the options on top, I'm going to put the opacity into the amount of 25%. For the foreground color, get of dark color so let's get the black color hit okay and then the brush is set to soft brown brush then with that shadow layer selected and with this selection let's start creating shadows okay now once you're good with it press ctrl plus d to deselect okay so to make that shadow look realistic let's apply here a gaussian blur so with that shadow layer selected go to the menu bar go to filter go to blur and then find gaussian blur then I'm going to add a radius of blur to two pixels and then hit OK. And there are. So maybe we can just adjust the position of that. Press Ctrl plus D for the shadow layer. Hit enter. All right. Now that's it. And that is how to create a 3D cube in Photoshop.